Wasted bet productivity. That is unbelievable, isn't it? No, no. So first of all, before we get started, I want to give you guys a hand because you guys are the ones that are responsible for these numbers. I mean, that's unbelievable. So we're here to talk about the uh, the the Road to Ruins campaign first. I got my notes okay. here. You guys want to take a look at that? Yeah, sure. okay. So let's. You know, Michael, I, you guys know the game better than anybody. Well, maybe a few more people in the room know a little bit better than you guys. Tell us about first of all the uh, the the All Fronts collection. What's in that? All right. So it's kind of a roll up, right? All the multiplayer maps we've ever put out. We're going to put a you know real green box in stores, and I'll have every single multiplayer pack in it. Um, what's exciting to me? Lots of new multiplayer maps. But what's cool about it is the Road to Ruin you're mentioning, which mm -hmm. is a deleted scene. It's the thing that the evil president of Epic Games cut really late in development, but uh, it just wasn't coming together, and so I broke Josh's beautiful story, his moment. You want to talk about it? You want to talk about the story? No, he didn't really get it. It was awesome. awesome. Uh, it's, it, the nature of game development is you can't get everything in that you want to get as a storyteller uh, and as a game creator, but you try to pack in as much as you can for the fans. You packed in Dang near everything. Gobs of goodness? Is yeah, that what gobs of goodness and yeah. stuff into Gears 2. Everyone Gears 2, Gears 2, like it, like it, like it. Yeah. I think that's a yes. It was the better of the Gears. It was the best one. We, 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 we did our best. I can attest to that. Everyone spent some long hours. And uh, with the uh, Road to Ruin scene, it was a good scene. It just wasn't polished enough by the time. Well, it was more show. that we, we were ready, but we didn't want to. I mean, we couldn't polish everything all as well. And so that was the thing. Something had to go. Oh, and these guys like polish. Yeah, a little bit. We're all polish. <laughs> we, we, I mean, Road to Ruin was something we wanted to be able to play two different ways. We wanted a stealth way to approach it. And if you guys remember the scene in uh, Gears of Two where there's this moment where Marcus says, How do you want to go in? Gears of Two. <laughs> There's a war. Yeah, Gears of, two. Yeah, Gears of two was way better than Gears of War two. Did you know, hire like, yeah. really yeah. All right, so Gears of War two. Um, there's this moment where Marcus says, "All right, how do you want to go, Tom? I understand if you need to just go in guns blazing." He's like, "Fuck it, let's go." Um, wait, sorry. I mean, darn it, let's go. Rats. Hey, he's raw. I gotta love it, right? I mean, it's a chance. Gosh darn, Dom. Good idea, says Marcus. Nice. We have the parental filter on. We do. Yeah, no worries. It's, it's being fixed uh, as they recorded. And so we wanted you to be able to choose. Either you go in there in armor and you pretend to be... You which, know, which we have up uh, right here. Yeah. yeah. Right, so there's Marcus and the Theron armor, and yes, we're doing action figures for that. It's going to be totally cool. But anyway, <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's not to sell them or something, because we don't make any money off that. It's more because we all want them on our desk. So that's the... If you've ever seen a Gears action figure, it's because we're nerds and we want them on our desk. And if you guys want to buy one, that's cool, but you don't have to, because it's for us. Okay, so it was like, can we do both of those well? Can we do stealth? in our campaign, it just, it felt like we were underground so much in the Gears of War 2 uh, game. We just spent so much time underground, and we just didn't want another hour underground, so that was part of the reason we cut it. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, I think that was one of the things with expanding so much of the scope of Gears on on 1 uh, to 2, and then with, with the level we wanted, okay, spoiler alert, you guys have played the game, How many people have right? played Gears of War 2 all the way through? All right, so if you haven't played the game, you might want to step outside for a minute. All right, so say with the Maria scene, okay. and I won't ruin anything here, but with the Maria scene, we wanted Dom to make sure that people understood his decision uh, from a storytelling point of view and really got what his motivations were. And we did have that choice completely. It was, it was going to be a choice, as Mike said originally. And uh, it became a thing where... Um, we didn't have time to polish to the epic quality and the Xbox quality that and we everything wanted. else. Right? Yeah. That's just, I mean, yeah. just like I mean, it's got to be perfect. I mean, to get it out the door. And um, with this one, it's going to be really fun to hear people's responses to it because, as Mike said, it's going to be interesting to see how people approach gears without being able to just shoot everything. Though, however, if you get sick of the stealth, just shoot. Hell everything. yeah, just shoot. Just shoot. We, we were it's okay. Yeah, we're okay with that. The kind of assumption. Yeah, it's it's okay. But yeah, yeah. take cover, of course. You're still gonna die if you don't take cover. Well, we took that question and went for like an hour. That's all right. That's fine. We're just to let you guys know. The interview's over. Can we take questions? We're gonna do some Q and A at the end here, so we'll have time. We will. We'll, we'll put time with. I promise that. Um, and then, uh, so I want to talk about the All Friends Collection coming out the end of July. We just talked about the, the deleted scene, the extra chapter, or whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever the marketing sure. people are spinning on this. What else is in this package? What's in the package? Yeah. What's well, behind door number two? The maps. Well, there's there's seven really cool multiplayer maps. That's um, we're sh we're playing it out there, so y'all should be playing instead of hanging 
hanging out with us. But that's uh, the dark corner <laughs> stuff. So it's the single player map and then seven new maps. A uh, couple underground maps, a couple uh, cog architecture. This one cool new one we're playing tonight, Nowhere, which is sort of a desert scene. Uh, basically, it's all about capturing one building roof that kind of overreaches everything else. Um, so, you know, more cool multiplayer stuff. And then rolled up everything we've ever done is all in that pack. So it'll be a retail pack um, that just kind of rolls it all up together. And if you've already bought the the downloadable content, you don't have to like buy the retail pack too after you've already bought all that. So we'll do, just do the Dark Corners pack too. So we don't do exclusives retail because that screws folks who are real fans who've been playing, buying the stuff all along. We don't want to do that. But the All Friends collection uh, that you buy at retail, what's in that? What's that? <laughs> 19 maps of multiplayer goodness. Yeah, Gosh, crazy. Really good at this stuff, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, and a gorgeous Chris Brenna, uh, art director on yeah, There's a more gorgeous stuff. poster. Um, yeah, yeah, cool. If you have anyone saw the cover of the um, who here got the limited edition, with the Lancer, like the unit special edition, the silver the metal box? Um, you know that gorgeous piece that's on the front of the art book uh, is blown up to yeah. an amazing degree in color, so you only saw it in silver. Yeah. And now you see it in color, and it's amazing. And, and also on the back, I uh, work closely with Epic's multiplayer guys. And um, it has like a little bit of history that you may have not heard about the Gears of War universe, mm -hmm. as well as some tips on the back of the map when you flip it over. Pro so it's too. pretty cool. So it's more of a poster. I want it's, it's, it's a poster with hints on the back and some lore and legend. That's, okay, that's cool. So I, you know, I, I kind of give it away. Some free going money. There's lots of free money in the box. So really? Yeah, oh, I like that. At least fifty dollars. And let's everybody have. Like <laughs> let's remember who said that. Not to the market. <laughs> I want to talk about um, the, the fact of the comics that have come out, yeah. and, and that's something you know we got up behind the screen of me right now. Here's oh, wow. here's some of the uh, issues right she now. It's changing behind me. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. isn't it? I mean, I, I don't even know what's coming up here. I'm just hitting next. So uh, there's this thing called PowerPoint you should use. To yeah, like, really, I've heard that it actually works well. Uh, yeah, awesome. It's awesome. But I, I want to talk about the, I want to talk about the comic for a little bit. What uh, you know, it's the Gears of War two, the Gears of War series, highly successful. Tell us what people can expect from the comics. Well, I mean, the comic is kind of like the action figures, right? I mean, you know, the, the game has been really successful for us, but the reason we did the action figures is because we have, like, tons of McFarlane action figures on our desk, and we want cool gear stuff on our desk. And the comic thing is because we're a bunch of comic book nerds who have been collecting for 20 years, and we want comic books of Gears of War, right? right. So we're, we're fans, and that, that's where it starts. And we were really kind of psyched that other people liked reading it, too, but it was kind of, it was a vanity project, really. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind, it's kind of, so it's kind of like the, the uh, it's kind of like the action figures because you wanted them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're fanboys, right? right. I mean, that's th totally. So I mean, Josh, okay, and I got I got I you know I always like asking. We sold so, a couple of them. Oh, that was a lot of them. Number one. Um, what's in it too long. Um, but hey, how many people have picked up the comic? Out of I curiosity, I mean, awesome. oh, that's really good. Okay, that's rocking. Comic. It's, it's, it's doing else. like surprisingly well, like yeah. the best of any comic book that started in a long time. For video a, games, a really pleasant surprise. It's not just like good for video game comics, but just good for comics. That's right? a good, great point. Yeah. And one of the neat things we did is, uh, how many people got it as an exclusive through Blockbuster or GameStop? Uh, or, okay, a lot of people just picked it up then. That's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's hard to find comics. I know. Josh I don't write the comic and he appreciates your patronage. <laughs> he has to give me some love from time to time, but I wear sweet, so it's, it's nice for him to touch me. Uh, <laughs> He's spending all his comic like money on this nice and He likes my sweat. It works out. Uh, but yeah, with the comic, we. Oh, I've got a fun fun this year. It is um, <laughs> See, I told you. There we go. It's a thing where, uh, with the comic, and shout outs to Liam Sharp who did the art there. Yeah, yeah no, no. Much credit there lies, of, as Chris Perna does the brilliant art on the games. Uh, Liam Sharp, the brilliant art on this. And it takes a lot. If you've ever seen what a real comic book page looks like, they're like this big and they shrink them down to these little comics. But the work they put in on these is just amazing. No, Liam's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing stuff. And um, we, we wanted to really expand the universe, and it was kind of doing a prequel to the sequel. Uh, is the easiest way to say it. So uh, those of you who haven't checked it out, it actually has become a very essential, much like Karen Travis's novel. Um, We're going to get to that later. Oh, yeah, uh, but much like later. it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's become uh, very much a part of the Gears universe where we wanted people to find out more. Because, again, with video game development, you can only get so much in while keeping the gameplay beautiful. What do we got back here?